So when Lisa and I decided on your behalf that we were going to throw you a 60th birthday party a few months ago, um, it's kind of been bugging me what to get you. Um, every birthday, Father's Day, Christmas, I ask you what you want. You normally circle something in the Repco magazine. Um, but this year that was never going to cut it. I mean, you're 60. Um, and that's, I guess, how the, the idea of this video came about. Um, no gift was ever going to be good enough for you. So we've put together a little video um, and hopefully it just gives you a bit of a glimpse into how much you mean to us. Uh, it certainly showcases your children's personalities. Some are big talkers, some are little talkers. Uh, but the theme is always the same. We love you. We're so grateful to have you in our lives. Um, and we're so excited that we get to celebrate this milestone with you. It's obviously a gift that has been denied to many of our loved ones. Um, I think it's about time as a family we got together and we celebrated. So, hope you're having a great night. I love you and enjoy your video. birthday old boy what can i say i love you and yeah have a good day cheers Just like to wish you a happy 60th birthday, old boy. Hope you have a good night and all the best. I'm living in the 70s. Happy birthday, Dad. Um, hope you have a good evening and it's been a, an amazing ride so far. We've been together for almost 40 years. Hard to believe, isn't it? Um, Dad, thank you for teaching me that family always comes first. And no matter how hard life gets, that your family are always there for you. Um, some favourite memories of my dad um, would be the time he took me and my friends camping to Lancelin when I was 13. I had a really good weekend. Um, going out the bush camping with my brothers. I remember going out in the bush with dad and um, just looking around the bush, wandering. I'm pretty sure we were doing other stuff, but that's for another time. Um, dad, thank you for giving me beautiful eyebrows, unlike my sisters or my sister. Um, I've been blessed with not having your eyebrows, so that was a really good thing. Thank you. Um, thank you for loving my children and my husband. Um, really good memories of Dad also consist of Dad walking me down the aisle and giving me away. Pretty sure he's told Sean there was a no refund policy. That's okay because I'm quite happy. Um, thank you for allowing me to travel and making it possible um, to travel and um, always having my back even when 
I did things you probably didn't agree with, but you always had my back. Um, anyway, hope it's a good night. Love you. Bye. <laughs>
And I think to myself What a wonderful world I see skies of blue And clouds of white The bright blessed day The dark sacred night And I think to myself What a wonderful world I've tried to do this a few times now but um, nothing was doing you justice. Everything seemed mediocre. Um, I can think of some funny stories, uh, like when you told me you shot Santa's reindeers because they pooed on our roof. I tried it with my nieces, but um, not so believable when I'm telling the story. Um, or when you would show me photos of the four older kids and you'd say, oh, Lisa, this is back when we had the real family. Um, before you came along, this is what the real family looked like. <laughs> Shit, it used to stir me up. Um, or that subtle side glance that we share when mum doesn't quite get the joke or she can't quite figure out what's so funny. Um, but in terms of life-defining moments, nothing stands out because every day you were there. Every day you were there, you were in the picture, whether it be driving the swimming club bus, um, reluctantly going in the tube race, fixing my bike punctures after I'd driven through the prickles for the fifth time that day. Um, you were always there. When I left home, you told me that I could always come back. Your door was always open um, and that would always be home. So I think that just really sets the tone for home is wherever you are. Wherever you are, Dad, that's home. Um, so happy birthday. I love you and have an amazing night. Also, thank you for loving Rosie and Rupert like your very own grandchildren. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands, saying hi. I watch them grow They like much more Than I never knew And I think to myself What a wonderful world Yes, I think to myself what a wonderful world. Happy birthday to the one that makes me smile, laugh and cry. I've spent the last 43 birthdays with you. Who would have thought it, that we would still be together? I know sometimes we both have thought, I'm out of here, but that's never happened. Come close at times for both of us. Without you, I wouldn't have five beautiful children who would die for either of us. The love they share for each other and the bonds that they come from the love they see with us. It's the love of a family you care so much for. You always say blood's thicker than water and don't poke the bear. That's a trait that comes out in all of your children, each one of them. Trevor, the storyteller and the life of the party. Kim has your kind heart and willingness to never forgive. Oh, wrong. Willingness to help and a peacemaker. Jason is you all over, quick tempered and never forgets and a bloody hoarder. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> um, Lee is the fixer and organizer, as always. She's fixing all this at the moment. Um, Lisa is your baby girl and will always be that. 
and she looks just like you. Lee and Lisa have your sick sense of humour. Even from an early age, they could recite Monty Python. You have 10 amazing grandchildren. Well, I hope it's only 10, but you never know. Each one of them loves their pop so much for so many reasons. You'll find that out tonight. Love, the love of your brothers and sisters is not matched. Um, they all hold a special place in your heart. Or you always talk about each and every one of them in different ways. They, they bring your, different ways they bring to your world. The life growing up with them, fighting and loving and caring is, uh, caring, <gasps> childhood, an, an adventure, sharing a childhood adventures with them. If, if you think of yourself as a toughie, you think of yourself as a toughie. Jeez, you're going to have to do a lot of editing in this. Mum. But you're not. You're a lover, not a fighter. I have found loving cards in your lunchbox left for me. Bunches of flowers come through the front door for no reason at all. And beaches and picnics on... Barbecues and picnics on the beach when we're supposed to be fishing. Even trekking across Australia. You found ways to make it extra special. Just the other day you sent your girls and me a picture of some beautiful flowers you'd found out the bush. Again, I say a lover, not a fighter. But don't poke the bear. You will come off second best. I have seen you at your finest hour and at your lowest. The birth of each of your children, the pride you showed at their arrival, the smile that is still there when you talk about them, the pride of becoming a pop and how you tell everyone that they all take after you. All of them are handsome Harrys. And for me, you are my rock. We have had some hard times and I have needed a shoulder to cry on and I can't think of anyone else I could lean on. You're my best friend. Oh my God, I'm gonna have sex with a 60 year old. Never thought that would happen. Lots of people thought you'd never make it to 60. Well, there you go. How lucky are we all to have you in our lives? Happy birthday, darling. May you see many more. You have to stick around for the great grandkids. Won't that be a blast? Love you now and forever. Happy birthday. Yeah. See you soon. saying it as well but happy birthday as well happy birthday poppy the things that i like about you is the funny jokes that you make when we always have a problem <laughs> happy birthday to you happy birthday poppy 
Happy birthday to you, 102. You look like a monkey and smell like one too. Like I smell like too. <laughs> I love Smokey because he takes me out in the bush and when he does, he lets me out in the back of the ute. And he also built a swing for me in the backyard. Happy birthday, Poppy. My favorite thing about Poppy would be the um, when we go out the bush, we always find something new. Broken cars, um, new trees, trees on the road, all sorts of stuff out there. And I hope you have a lovely day for your birthday. Love you. Happy birthday, Poppy. Um, I love Poppy because he gives us his moving and we do sometimes. And he gives us wagon moves and lollies and we stay there. How old is Poppy? Um, Can you have a guess at how old do you think he's going to be? 61? 60! Oh. 60. I was close! Bye Poppy! I love you! Happy birthday Poppy! Isabel, why do you love Poppy so much? Because uh, he uh, loves me that help him. He loves you helping him? Yes. You're going to show Poppy your moves?